Hello, okay, we're going to be talking some more about Mediaspace. I'm assuming that you know a little bit about Mediaspace. Hopefully you've just watched the video that I did talking about Mediaspace. What is it? Now I'm going to talk a little bit about how to log in and actually get some media in there. This one in particular, uploading a, a video into Mediaspace. So how do you log in? Here's the URL right here. Click on it. It'll open up into a login screen. Once you log in, you see a space called My Media. This is unique to you with your Star ID login. So this is how you can keep track of all your stuff. Only you or anyone who has your Star ID will have access to this material. Uh, here's where your help files are listed underneath here, which will bring you to the MinSQ help files. There's a lot of information to use that. We'll go back here. The other buttons I want to point out over here uh, is, is how do you actually get something to load up in here underneath here you can upload media you can do a web ramp, webcam recording or you can do a screen recording first I'll show you how to do a media upload this assumes that you've already got something that you've recorded or some sort of a physical uh, media file that you can point to because once you click that it brings you to a point where you can then find the file so you need to know where it is. So I'm doing some quick guides here. So I've got a quick guide folder. This is a media space thing. Um, you can usually find the, it'll show you what's capable of going in here. In, in this case here, this is an MP4 file, which will double click and it'll begin to upload it. It's pretty quick, depending on the traffic, it loads it pretty quick and it depends also upon how big the media is for how long it actually takes. Um, it is now uploaded. Um, you've got some options here for publishing it, uh, private, unlisted, or published. Private means that you are the only one who can view something. If it's unlisted, then y it'll be visible to anyone that you distribute a link to. So you can email a link to, to a video and anyone can watch that. And then if it's published, then you can use um, some other advantages of like embedding it in your D2L. But in this case, now we're uploaded. We're going to go to our media. The other thing, it doesn't always want to publish from there, so um, I, I recommend that we go into this screen first. It's being processed. It takes a little while to suck it up into its servers and then convert it into the different formats so it can feed it out uh, depending on, on what people ping it from. Now, from this case, we're looking at it. We can look at details. We can share it. Um, we can have some options. Uh, we can publish it, add to playlist, edit. Uh, I'm going to go into the edit because it is in here where we can upload captions. If you click on that, then you need to upload a caption file. And this is something that you have to do to have done previously. Um, in, in this case, I did. It's an SRT file that you're looking for, and, and I can help you with those two if you need. But in here, we have an SRT file. You have to, you really by law you do need to to add captioning to it. You have some options there. Um, I'd be glad to, to consult with you if you have some questions about how to actually do that. So now it shows us it's still processing it, but it does have a caption file which is also included in here, which is great for accessibility. We're going to look at our details here. It'll tell us it is private, which you haven't actually shared it out yet. So we're going to go back to our media while it's still processing. Um, and here it is. Now I can talk a little bit about how we share it. When you click the share, you've got a link we, which you can distribute to people and they can click on that and get to it directly. Or you have an embed option right here, which is how you, a nice way you can put it in D2L because then it stays within that D2L wrapper. Um, and then you need to right click and then copy this. I don't, you, there's no way you can actually remember any of this. You've got to just copy it and paste it into your D2L course. Uh, before we do that, I will show you now we still need to publish it. And here is where you have the option. So here's the private, nobody can see it except you. Unlisted, only with the link they can see it, or published um, is with links, or you can embed it. Um, you do need to publish it in a channel. I've got one established, Normandale Media. Um, you've got a bunch of different options. We'll save it. It tells us that it does have, it's published in one channel, it's available in there, and now we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, let's go back to my media and see all of our media listed here, and here's the thing. 
Uh, I don't like the name, so I'm going to edit the name. Let's go back into here. And we'll call it an introduction to media space. And we'll save it. It's published. We're pretty much ready to go. We're back to my media. Here it is. If we click on it, it'll play. Um, we can see th this tells us uh, that no one has seen it. You can see there's another one here. 21 people have seen this. That's a little eyeball right there. Three people have seen that. Uh, so you can kind of monitor your usage. You can't tell who's seen it. You can just tell how many people have actually just clicked on it. So now that's ready to go. So when we click back into this, and it opens up into this one, and we'll play it. Hello and welcome to a tutorial on Media Space. I'm David Voigt. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Media Space. Now another thing I want to point out is that I've got captions attached to this which show up underneath here, but I also like to burn the captions right into the video itself so that there's two different things going on here. Uh, and that's intentional. Uh, if, if ever this media goes somewhere else and if the, the if the SRT file, if the captioning file gets lost, it's still captioned. So it still has its, uh, um, it's still accessible for anybody who who has, uh, has need for that. What is it? Media space is basically like a YouTube, but it's, it's minst... Okay, so there it plays. Once you have some media saved and it's in my media here, the next step is, well, how the heck do you get it in D2L? I'll show you. This is, uh, let's see, we'll go to a D2L course here, get into a course, you go to the place in content where you want to have something like this video. We're going to do a little test video module here. Okay, so this is a test module, but you will have a module where whatever you want to do, week one, week two, week three, wherever the video is going to be. You're going to add a new thing. Okay, we're going to add, create a file. There's all these icons here. This one here is the insert stuff over on this side, enter embed code, opens up into this box. Okay, this is the one you can't just remember. So now we got to go kind of back and forth between a couple of windows. The other window is the, the My Media here. When we go into the media that we want to play there, and if you recall, we went to the Share section here and Embed, right-click and Copy. Then we go back into our D2L course and paste it in here. Next, there it is, and it'll play right in there. We want to insert it, we'll create a title, test video, and then you can save it as a draft. Nobody can see it, or you publish it. Publish it, people can see it. Then here's how it's going to look. It stays right within this D2L envelope, and then if you hit play, it'll play. Hello and welcome to a tutorial on media space. I and so it keeps the, the people right in here. So the, the two ways to distribute it, the link or the embed code. The embed code is this one that keeps it within D2L. The link takes actually takes you outside of this window. Uh, it works, but it's it's not preferable. Another thing I want to point out is that when you do play it, there's this little window right down in the right corner. If you hit that, it goes full screen. And then I'm David Voigt. I'm going to tell you a little bit about media. A little bit better. If you hit the escape key, it goes back to the smaller size. And that's how you embed it from media space.